Automatic Bar Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number three, the collet chucking system. When the stock is rotating and the tools are cutting into the work, something needs to hold the stock tightly in position. The collet chucking system performs this holding. There are three main components in the collet chucking system. These are the collet, the collet chucking tube, and the chucking spool. The chucking spool forces the collet chucking tube and the collet back and forth to open and close the collet during the feeding of the stock. It is located here, inside the carrier. The chucking tube transfers that back and forth motion to the collet. The collet is used to grip the stock during machining operations. When the chucking tube pulls the collet back into the beveled seat, it forces the jaws of the collet to close, gripping the stock. This chuck fork locking latch locks or unlocks the chucking spool. There is a locking latch for each of the six chucking spools. During the stock feeding, the pusher and collet system work together to feed the stock into the work area. The action of the pusher cannot be seen during normal machine operations since it occurs inside the spindle. For demonstration purposes, think of the operator's left hand as being a collet. The collet holds the stock as the various machining operations take place. Then, after cutoff, the feeding operation begins when the pusher is drawn back by the stock feed shoe. Since the collet is still holding the stock, the pusher slides back over the stock. At exactly the right moment, the collet opens and the stock feed shoe comes forward. Since the collet is open, the pusher pushes the stock forward. The collet then closes and holds the stock, then indexes before the machining begins. This is the collet adjusting nut. Its purpose is to adjust the collet gripping pressure. The spacer fits on the collet chucking tube between the collet adjusting nut and the chucking spool. There is a sequence of the machine's operations that occurs in the same order during every machine cycle. Because it is a repeating cycle, we can begin anywhere, but generally when starting the machine, it's from the cycle off condition. When we first engage feed in this condition, the machine will go through the cycle in this order. Index. The tools approach the work quickly and then begin machining operations. In the sixth position, a piece is cut off. Then the tools are drawn back away from the work. Stock is fed into position six. And the cycle starts over. This completes your television training tape on the collet chucking system. You may watch this tape as many times as you need. When you have finished, Return to the operator booklet for the third step.